It's kind of a puzzle of biomechanics, physiology, anatomy, and kind of function, how he wants to function with his drumming. Um, so there are a number of different things we thought it'd be best to get us all put our heads together to look at this. He no longer has a right foot, a right ankle, and a right knee, which is critical for any kind of drummer. That's the, that's the, the leg that um, utilizes what's called a bass drum pedal or a kick pedal. That's this pedal that we have right here. So it's really speed and power, I think, is the issue. I know he wants to be able to walk on and off stage, so we talked about whether when he sat down he doffs the his walking limb and then hooks into something and in, in my picturing might something that might even be permanently well, attached to his pedal. It'll be interesting with this infinite sock design. One of the big things with that is, is people report um, superior comfort with sitting. So, you know. Yeah, he'll, he'll be sitting for hours drumming. So the, the drum throne's about yay big. It's not like a big old comfort chair, it's about that big. It seems to me that that foot is going to have to be attached or be attachable and detachable to the pedal itself. Because there again, you know, with, with a prosthetic knee, if he's going like D, that knee's gonna move. Yeah. So how is he gonna drive the, the power that he needs right. or have control? He wants the feel of it, he wants to be able to do it. And he's gonna be able to do it. I was shocked when Steve MacGyvered that right leg with him yeah. and how good he played. Yeah. This is, this is possible. So the MacGyver leg is, is put together with a, 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 a putter, golf putter, duct tape, and a little fire hose to give it a little bit of stability there. And then some Coban wrap. And I'm able to play, I'm able to play drums almost like I normally would. Like all those little fills I was just doing. I was even surprising myself that I, that I was pulling those little triplet things off. Like, and that's, this is just the beginning, so. Exactly, That's where which I think is why I think you don't want to have a degree of freedom up there. Oh, I, I agree with you. No, I want yeah. that. I want that Richard. rock solid. Mm -hmm. He's going to be at about a 60 degree angle. See, and that's kind of the, what you're replicating The ankles are, are straight in line with the leg and it's completely up and down. I pictured uh, attaching it posterior distal on the, you know, so that the force is... Underneath? Underneath. If we found out that that was the best place for it. Why can't the socket be three inches longer than his anatomical? He's not going to walk in it. Ooh, I like that. Right. So, so Got to remember, I can put it anywhere I want. Really, what drummers do is lift their foot, and their forces are translated right into that spot right there. Right. Uh, maybe like a saddle joint. Yeah. Saddle joint with um, rotation this direction to modulate angle, and then rotation in medial lateral direction. Then he can shift forwards and backwards from that to change the angle at which it's inserting, but you're not changing anything physically at the artificial knee fixed angle. I think there's gonna be a ton of trial and error like this, Absolutely. like what Mark right. says. And and Steve even saw this right away is, he, he, you know, he's not thinking biomechanics, he's thinking about feel. Yeah. And he adapts, I mean, he kind of adapts himself, which is kind of cool too. So yeah. it really takes a team to put together a solution to this. Uh, so we kind of all got our assignments. We're gonna go back to the drawing board and the workshop start putting these components together and, and get Andrew involved in it and, and see where we go with it.